Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, the former Mukurueni member of parliament, Kabando Wakabando, was on an interview at Citizen TV. And he was asked a question about the possible running mate for the top presidential candidates. That is Raila Molo Dinga, William Samoy Ruto, and Msalia Mudavadi. Now, Kabando Wakabando proceeded to answer that question by saying that the first name he has heard very widely, widely, of a possible Raila's running mate is Mother Karua. He went on to say that there are also whispers, <laughs> you see, saying whispers, that Musalia Mudavad candidature is still on the table with again possibility of Mother Karua being his running mate. Then he said Ruto might go to coast region because he has central region. So I will not uh, discuss about Ruto into this. I just want to check on uh, one can alliance and uh, Raila Molo Dinga in that matrix because Mother Karua is playing between Raila and uh, Musalia Mudavad. Uh, let me be more specific. Raila Odinga, what do you think are the possibilities for a running mate for him this evening? What names are you hearing? Uh, the first name I've heard very, very widely is of Wangari Karua, Mother. And mm -hmm. um, the people who are talking about Mother Karua, and I'm talking about people across ethnic uh, divide, are uh, looking for individual who can be a deputy president with the potential to execute reformist agenda, because that has been lost. So the name of mother is going around very much. And I know is that the serious discussions uh, among many players. And I, 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 let me just not say more than that, that that is being mentioned. Uh, for uh, William Ruto, I don't know the possibility of his running mate, uh, you know, but um, people said he may think that he has the mountain behind him uh, by and large, and he could uh, poke the coast by going to Kuali and getting the governor, Mvoria, to be with him. There are also um, uh, whispers that a Musalia candidature is still on the table with again a possibility of uh, Mother Karua being a running mate for Musalia. I remember Musalia's comment at Safari Park when they went to Oka went to meet uh, the Mount Kenya Foundation. And I don't now we are continuing with our punchline discussion but a quick reminder. You might be watching this channel but you have not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time once you come out with a video like this and you will always get notified. Again, to all our returning subscribers and anyone who dropped comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube will recommend our video to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, this question at Citizen TV is coming at a time on the same day when the One Kenya Alliance team was meeting with the Mount Kenya Political Party Forum leaders. And so after this Oka principles had their meeting with these other leaders, we were told that they are now crafting a way that will see them working together. So meaning <laughs> they are creating a coalition. But in my thinking, I also believe that these guys from Central Region could have not necessarily been focusing on working with the One Kenya Alliance. But they could have been looking for a way to raise their stake of bargaining in Raila Mono Dinga camp. Because remember for them, they have this forum that is bringing these political parties together. They have even gone ahead to choose one of them as their spokesperson. So already they have fronted Mother Karua as the person who is speaking on their behalf. And even Moses Kuria is telling us that they might be fronting Mother Karua as a running mate to the person they will settle on to work with in that coalition. So in one hand, the forum has their leader. But they are meeting the One Kenya Alliance principles who have not yet decided on the leadership that, that they could have as they go into the future. So that is the biggest problem. That's why it is also very hard 
for anyone to get attracted to one Kenya alliance as we go forward. Simply because look here at Mount Kenya region, these guys already choose their leadership. So you know which direction they are heading to. But they are coming to negotiate with people who are still having the personal interest at hand, which still threaten the coalition unity. So in my own thinking and the way Kabanda or Kabanda is putting it, that Mother Karua is being fronted as a possible running event for Raila Molodinga, it could be serious. But going to one Kenya alliance is just to raise their stake. So look here. You have political parties from Mount Kenya region coming very organized with the kind of leadership they could want to have. Mother Karua as their leader. Then they are meeting the One Kenya Alliance leaders. Good leaders. But this group is not yet organized. The Mount Kenya region just started the other day. One Kenya Alliance has taken a long time. They have existed for long. Therefore, they should have already settled on the kind of leadership they could want to have. Or if not, at least have a spokesperson from that side as they keep on negotiating to have their presidential candidate. So right now there is no spokesperson. What, is, what we are seeing there is the competing interest among these leaders that, that threatened that unity of the One Kenya Alliance. So it is very easy for us again tomorrow or another day to see Mother Karua in another meeting with Raila Molodinga. And they will tell us they are still negotiating. Because they told us that for them they are going to speak to everyone and see which side they are going to settle at. So don't be surprised if you see Mount Kenya Forum leaders in a meeting with Raila Molodinga. Because remember Raila Odinga might be maybe thinking to work with Peter Kenneth as his running mate. We understand President Uhuru Kenyatta would want to have his hand in the next government, maybe through choosing a running mate for Raila Molodinga. And this group is coming here organized. Peter Kenneth is coming as an individual. Now these guys are coming with their political parties. So definitely they look more organized than Peter Kenneth. And the person they are fronting, like how uh, Kabanda or Kabanda is saying, is a reformist. A good card that can play around Raila Molodinga. And again, a woman leader who is also able to marshal numbers across the country, not only Mount Kenya region. So in that way, that matrix is the best for Raila Molodinga. So for me, in my own thinking, I cannot rule out the possibility of Mother Karua being a running mate Raila Molodinga in 2022. And especially when William Samuel Ruto might be focusing to have someone like Anwai Guru <laughs> as his possible running mate. So that woman card, it can also initiate the Azmiola La Umoja side to go for even Mother Karua as a possible challenger to the candidature of William Samuel Ruto having Anwai Guru as a running mate. So these guys are raising their stake. And uh, Raila Molodinga side might not be sleeping. They might also be looking into that line to see which side has more weight to go for. So I still pity for one Kenya alliance. It might be used as just a ladder for politicians to get to which side they want to reach to. Just come in one Kenya alliance make threat here and there, then after that, definitely you will settle in the next side you want to be. Of course, the heavyweight. Maybe William Samuel Ruto side or Raila Molodinga side. And that has been possible and maybe it might be continue to happen. Because, as I said, one kind of alliance seemingly is looking disorganized. So, it has just been made to look like a holding ground for politicians before they strategize on which side to go to. So now, if Mother Karua will be a running mate Raila Molodinga, then you have William Samuel Ruto on the other side, together with Anwai Guru. <laughs> and the campaign is going on. It is also going to be very easy for these people to hit at other other side 
because that combination has already been branded as corrupt. The people who are already shielding the corrupt side, and again, they have been mentioned in a number of corruption cases. So for that reason, it is going to be very easy to brand William Samuel Ruto candidature as corrupt. Then these other guys can be branded as the reformist leaders. Raila has always fought for multi-party, he has fought for democracy, and therefore he always come out strongly as a reformist leader. Look at Mother Karu again, she's coming out strongly as a reformist leader who has been there fighting through Moi regime, coming all the way until when we reach to have the 2010 constitution that at least to some level brought the democracy that we can enjoy here. So for that reason, there, could be, there will be a reason why when someone gets to a ballot to vote for the candidate of Mother Karua and Raila Molo Dinga. So Peter Kenneth might be working with Raila Molo Dinga in his campaign together with the <laughs> Mount Kenya region governors. But he should rethink and re-strategize. Because already this other side is regrouping, reorganizing and re-strategizing. So like that even when they join the, the Jubilee Party, you see even up to now Jubilee Party is still postponing their NDC. They are not yet decided. Maybe they will come together with these other small political parties within Mount Kenya region then choose a kind of a leadership there as they go forward. So Peter Kenneth, if he's not careful, he might be left in the cool. <laughs> and uh, Mother Karua can come out that much strong na Kimbia Naikitu just as simple as that. So what he should be doing, besides working with Raila Molodinga, in every place Raila is going to, he should also be thinking on how his team is strategizing maybe to attract the candidate of Raila Molodinga and at least show that he can add value to the candidate of Raila apart from bringing the vote from Mount Kenya region. Peter Kenneth should prove that at least he can attract other voters outside Mount Kenya region. Because if you ask me, Mother Karua, at least she can attract more votes outside the Mount Kenya region simply because the woman card is going to play into this issue. At least on the top leadership, there will be an embrace of having woman leadership. So other people from outside the Mount Kenya region, the women, can still go ahead and embrace Mother Karua candidate. Besides that, we have people across the country who have seen Mother Karua fighting for democracy in the country, on the street, fighting the Moi regime. For that reason, they still believe that Mother Karua is a reformist. And therefore, it is easy to accept Mother Karua across the country. So for that reason, Mother Karua can have more value to add to the candidate of Raila Molodinga and even attract more votes from outside Mount Kenya region.